I think what you're going to find is this collaboration is going to have a truly remarkable ability to have some major impact. At Ceasefire, our team is our technology. They're from the communities that they serve, and they're credible messengers because they've been there and they've done that. So they're tasked with preventing shootings in the neighborhood and shifting okay. the social norms so that shooting and killing is no longer normal. So we know Ceasefire is proven, but we're limited in, in a sense by the, the constraints. You know, we're only so big. I'm trying to go somewhere with this. I'm trying well, to... You're, you're and kind of when I texted you the other day. And yeah. Actually, and we started off with lots of ideas and honed them into hypotheses. One of the first things we heard from the staff is uh, just stories about text messages that were one individual staff member talking to one individual high-risk client and how useful that type of exchange can be. Um, and, you know, it sort of lit a light bulb and uh, we then said, how can we scale this? HopTech brought together Ushahidi, I.e. myself, and Josh Nesbitt from Medic Mobile and others to start exploring exactly how this scaling idea by SMS might be implemented. So how do you create scenarios and interaction in a curriculum at 160 characters? So the pilot in Chicago enabled us to refine this framework and demonstrate a proof of concept. Because of the, the promising findings from the Chicago pilot, we basically decided to launch another pilot in a developing country. And we've partnered with a group called Sisi Ni Amani, which means we are peace in Swahili. In the 2007 population violence, it was like uh, the, this tribe is being killed elsewhere. So let's also revenge their tribe who are living in our neighborhood. Rumors. And the hatred messages were spread by using the phone technology, the SMS. As we the money right now, we don't want, want to take any chances. And so that's why we came up with the system of uh, SMS technology. If there is any rumors, we can act very quick and correct using our system. <laughs> our role in terms of peace text vis-a-vis -vis Kenya is to help CC money scale uh, considerably and to introduce this kind of very specific messaging to catalyze behavior change. We are doing outreach, collecting more, more, more numbers of the Sisina Mani system. We've partnered with other colleagues of ours from the Prekelt Foundation to develop a powerful and dedicated SMS platform that will basically provide us with some very important SMS uh, messaging features to organize uh, and coordinate this SMS campaign the mobile industry has had such a huge success in Africa in reaching 650 million out of a billion people. If we could replicate the success and extend on that to be able to reach each and every individual with the right information at the right time, that would be a huge achievement. Our goal then in the very near future is to develop the kind of scientific monitoring and evaluation process to assess the direct and indirect impact of the kind of mobile messaging that we'll be sending out. PopTech has been really uh, instrumental in making all this happen uh, by bringing these right partners together and also providing the space, uh, the intellectual leadership and the time uh, to pilot and iterate on this innovation. While it's been an incredibly exciting uh, past two years, the potential is huge and I think, I think the, the, the real excitement lies ahead. <laughs>